People say, well, you know, you look healthy. Don't judge the book by its cover. I was as fit as a butcher's dog, as they say. Became a black belt in karate. Terry's always been fit and healthy. The grandchildren know that um, the granddad can't run, he can't play football, he can't run in the park with them. Um, he even has difficulty bending over to pick them up. Terry, it's clear to me that from your description you've been exposed to significant amounts of stone dust. What factors do you think contributed to that very heavy exposure? The condensity of the amount of work we were doing and the small facility that we worked in. He didn't have anywhere in work that he could get changed or have a shower or change his clothes. He, didn't, he wasn't provided with overalls either. In his, in his forehead, in the wrinkles on his forehead, there would be dust embedded in there and it'd be caked in his hair. It would be all over his clothes. The last 10 years we had about three different washing machines because of the amount of dust that was actually um, um, the settled inside the, uh, the washing machine. Having a working life working with stone dust, has anyone ever told you about the dangers of working with stone dust? It said that dust isn't good for you, but they never ever said about the respiratory silica crystal. The more we found out about it, and how it could have been prevented. I started to feel angry, angry as, as employers for not putting the health and safety regulations in place, for not letting him work in a safe environment. What advice would you give younger people now in your trade about how to do things today to prevent them getting the ill health problems that you have? You must protect yourself and be aware of the regulations. You're not, you're not being a trouble causer, you're not a whistleblower, you're protecting your own life and other people around you. You must adhere to the regulations and your employers must adhere to the regulations. How much longer have I got to live? I'm only a young fella. As far as I'm concerned, what is, what is the future holding for me? If, if his employers had had the the correct health and safety measures in place, all this could have been prevented. I'm given with this, this bombshell of, as I believed, a terminal lung disease. Where does that leave me? What's going to happen to my wife and family?